Back with you here at Pacific Air Center for another video. And today we're going to do some flying in the uh, Citation Mustang. Uh, serial number 420 is behind me. It's a 2012 High Sierra uh, with about 800 hours on an airplane we currently have for sale. And today we're going to take one of our uh, friends uh, who's, who's going to get a type rating in the airplane. Before we do that, I want to say a couple things about the Mustang. And one of the first ones is uh, where, where this airplane is uh, in terms of the market and a little bit of history. There was, I think, 479 Mustangs built from 2006, I think until 2016 is when they quit uh, producing them. And the Mustang came out at a time when there was a lot of hype in the industry about the uh, VLJs or very light jets. And most of that was driven by uh, Eclipse, uh, who was talking about producing 2,000 uh, Eclipse jets, I think the Eclipse 500s a year. And that there was this huge emerging market for people that were gonna buy these airplanes and use them for you know, uh, some version of a part 135 operation. And it just got a lot of hype. I think Cessna and the rest of the industry were kind of looking at that like, yeah, it might be difficult. The truth is it never came to fruition. But the Mustang uh, came out and I think Cessna tried to stay away from the very light jet moniker. And you don't really hear that term anymore, but during that era, that's about all you heard in the industry was about very light jets and this emerging market. When Cessna introduced this airplane in 2002 at NB, AA, uh, they took a bunch of orders for the airplane um, and promised kind of the next generation of avionics, which ended up being G1000. We didn't know about G1000 in 2002. And if you if you fast forward to the market today, uh, in my opinion at least, the Mustang is one of the best values in the market when you look at what you can get for under $2 million in terms of performance and avionics and capability. Uh, it's just a really, really good uh, value in the marketplace. Uh, another great thing about the Mustang that, that kind of puts it in a different category for me is is if you're contemplating uh, flying a jet single pilot, um, and that's there's a lot of uh, options out there now for single pilot jets, and I think they're all great airplanes. But I I believe at least the Mustang is an airplane that anybody that's contemplating single pilot jet flying this should really get some time in a Mustang. Another one of the great things about this airplane is, is it's really, really uh, inexpensive to operate and Cessna does a great job supporting it even though it's not in production anymore. It takes me to the point that most Mustangs in, in the U.S. for sale are equipped the same. You know, the High Sierra edition really was when Cessna took all the optional stuff that everybody was buying anyway and they made it standard and they made a nice paint job and they called it the High Sierra edition. But if you look at the market today on Mustangs, at least the US based airplanes, I would say 90% of them or better are going to be equipped exactly the same. It's a matter of model year, hours, and then the big thing that's the value determinant these days is, is uh, engine programs. You know, the Power Advantage Plus is the, is the uh, engine program for these airplanes that you know, takes care of all the, basically all the engine costs or it boils it down into an hourly rate. Kind of one of my favorite airplanes in terms of a, a jet that you can get into at a, at a reasonable price and it's very economical to operate and probably, in, in, at least in my estimation, will hold its value very well because now you know they're not making any more of them so you, you have a, a limited supply or a diminishing supply and uh, you know it's a pretty modern airplane so anyway having said that we're going to get in the airplane go take it up for a for a flight and uh, show you how it handles through some of the basic stuff that you have to do to get a type rating in the airplane and we're looking forward to flying it ground citation 510 fox right off the pacific air center ready to taxi That's not 510 Foxtrot Delta, Long Beach Ground, runway 30, text via Foxtrot Delta. 30 Foxtrot Delta, 510 Foxtrot Delta. Okay, we're taxiing out from the Pacific Air Center hangar. Now, we just got a clearance. Uh, we're going we're gonna to climb off of Long Beach and go out to a practice area over, uh, over the Catalina Island. And as I said in the beginning, we're gonna we're gonna do a few uh, a few maneuvers, which is kind of the beginning of the process to get the type rating in the airplane for the 510. I'm with Craig Roa, and he is uh, uh, he owns a King Air F90, and he had a, a Malibu before that, and he's 
it's going to get a type rating kind of for, you know, just some additional training, get some exposure to a different airplane and, uh, you know, contemplate, I think, his next uh, his next airplane. Although I think you're pretty darn happy with your King Air right now, aren't you? Yeah, I am. It's a, it's a good airplane. Yeah. How long have you had it? Uh, a, little, a little over two years. Yeah. And uh, it's got, you know, the Vegas. upgraded avionics. And, it, you know, we'll probably do a, a video on the King, on that particular airplane delayed, at some point in the future uh, as, a, as a featured airplane. Right now. So anyway, we're taxiing to three zero. We'll be ready for takeoff here, and then we'll we'll start the uh, cameras again once we uh, once we get in the air. Three zero, clear for takeoff. Uh, zero Fox, start November four two six, pad three, clear land. Four two six, pad three, clear land. On the car, helicopter four, whiskey alpha, pad four, left of the That's what whiskey All alpha. All the way to the stop. Oh. Engine instruments are all green. Coming up on 80 knots. Cross check looks good. There's V1. Rotate. All the way to the command bars. All the way to the command bars. Eyes and brake. Gears up. Uh, damper. Long Beach Tower, wind column, wind traffic. 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 It's V2 traffic. plus 10, so it yeah, flaps up. And then climb power. Traffic. Uh, oh, you got climb power set. That looks good. And you can filch now. Uh, let's filch 160, which is right where you're at. That's good. And autopilot on. Oh, citation 510 Fox Rail to 5,500 for 10,500. Station 50 on Fox Southern Southern Approach, LA Altimeter 3001, and uh, I understand it's going to be doing some air work. Where are you going to be heading to exactly? Uh, we can go out anywhere uh, out here that's out of your way. Uh, you know, over the over Catalina, works for us, and then we'll be back to Long Beach after the air work. Everyone, Fox Southern Roger, guy, if you could just uh, stay over the island as much as you can, and uh, once you're ready to go back in, just give me a heads up. Okay, we'll go. Zero Fox Southern Southern. We're going to be doing our Thanks, steep right turns out here, so, you know, I'd like to get maybe a bigger traffic screen since we don't care about our flight plan anymore. So you can do the steep turn with the flight director on or off, depending on what you want. You know, if you leave it on, you can kind of use the chicken lips, you know, or if you want to turn it off, um, you can use the flight director regardless and just pick the spot on the horizon and just hold it, right? And, and, but the idea is still to kind of divide your attention. You don't want to be fixated on it. So when you're ready, let's do the first one to the right in our airspace. Is, is good. Actually, let's do it to the left because we got traffic out there. So, so we'll do it to the left. Everything looked good out to the left. Have to double click that autopilot button. There you go. My director's off. Left. And we're clear left, and you know, about 60 degrees, and just try to hold. Hold altitude and maybe nibble the power up. You're a little faster, so maybe you don't need to. Just hold, uh, hold your altitude. So that's 2288, climb and maintain 17,000. That's right. If, if it starts to go down, just roll a little bank out. Just try to pick that spot on the horizon on the, on the, uh, Flight director, the one screen. Yeah, and then that'll that'll hold it nice and steady. Speed's perfect. Bank's good. Altitude's right on the money. So you can tell it doesn't take long in this airplane to to get the feel of where you need to be. Then about ten degrees or so before you're heading. And you'll have to give it maybe just a little forward stick or reduce your power just a little bit when you roll out to, to hold 200 knots and and uh, hold your altitude as you roll out. Wing approach, descending on the tilt. Leave a little bit of forward stick. Yeah, maybe come back on the power just a little bit. There you go, push the stick down. So well. Perfect. Flex speed, maintain 5,000. Stall, so we'll use flaps uh, uh, to take off an approach. 
you got to get below 185 so you can start bringing the power back. You're below the landing flap speed, so landing flaps. Hold 10.5, a little bit of a bank to the left. So as, as you hear the, the stall horning, reduce angle attack, wings level, power up, pitch up, flaps, so gear, flaps. Okay, pitch down, power up, flaps, pitch up, gear up, E2 plus 10, right about there, flaps up, let's make a bank to the left. Copy 2806, back to 10-5. Sorry, right, level off on a heading of 3290. And autopilot off. Copy 2806, Clementine 15,000, proceed direct holds. 10-5, so you can bring power back. Clementine 15,000, Clementine 15,000. big difference between the clean stall or the yeah. road stall and the, and the full... Front. You can see if you did a departure stall with takeoff power, I mean, you'd have to be basically... <laughs> Standing it on the. On, on that's the, the thing. It, I would say, it takes a while to get used to. Is that that, yeah. that deck angle is really right, a right. lot different. And it's it's a lot of muscle memory, and you can see like even through a couple of repetitions, you're getting down, you know, the muscle memory, the autopilot controls where they're at, and that's really what the practice is really for is the muscle memory versus can you really recover from a stall right. it's 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 training you because there's a lot of stuff going on flaps gear flaps re, you know reset the flight director and and getting used to where the flight director is and you utilizing the autopilot to help you really makes it a lot easier so we're on a uh, uh radar vector now for the ILS 30 in long beach this is going to be a, uh, a normal approach we're not going to do any single engine approach and we'll do it to a full stop so really, November one Fox Delta, uh, Squawk 5224. 5224 for zero Fox Delta. Good morning, United 12,000. I can't get our call sign right. Good morning, one two twelve thousand two hundred fifty knots. My last call is blocked for November one Fox Delta. Just confirm Squawk 5224. And it's 5224, and just confirm it's 510 Fox Delta. 501 or 10 zero or zero 01, sorry. It's 510 Fox Delta. 510 zero Fox Delta, Roger. So we're going to do a normal vectored approach into Long Beach. Really, what at this stage, what we're looking for is speed control and being, you know, where you want to be as you join the localizer so that, you know, you only got a couple things to do uh, over the final approach fix. Flaps, land, gear down. And then, and then it's just setting power at about 50% and watching the speed come into ref. No configuration changes inside the final approach fix. Yeah. You have a power setting like? Uh, to hold. I think about, uh, yeah, probably about 60. Uh, yeah, let's no, let's put them in now. There's no reason not to you know, get, get, get everything set up, especially when you're you know getting used to an airplane. Okay. And again, over the final approach fix, we'll just reduce the power to 50%, and that should that should get you at uh, at rough, you know, right, 200 feet or so. Flight station zero, Fox at Delta, contact Long Beach Tower, 1190.4. Go on the tower, Fox, zero Fox at Delta. Long Beach Tower, citation 510, Fox at Delta, on the visual for 30, full stop. All right. Check zero, go on my T6 right, clear for the option. Citation 510, Fox or Delta, Long Beach Tower, 130, clear to land. 30, clear to land, 0, Fox or Delta. Speed's a little high, so maybe come back a little bit. Here comes a glide slope. Whiskey's now current, wind calm, Long Beach Tower, 3001. Is the dot above or going here? Yeah, gear down. Dot there. And then, it's going to be perfect, you're going to be at 150 when you get over the... And 50% power is right about where you want to be. So there you are coming down, so flaps to land now. Now you're fully configured, 50% power, and ref should come in. And we want... F is over the number, 
Right. And uh, your ref is, uh, you know, 1.3 VSO with with full flaps. Yeah. And uh, you, you're you going to fly your approach speed. Is it going to be somewhere closer to 120? Um, you're going to slow. Yeah, no, nah, I, I just let it keep it. 50% power, if you just leave 50% in there, it's going to... You just got to be patient, and it'll it'll trend it's down, around. and then it'll speed up a little, and then it'll come back down. So just going around, going around. Just leave it at fifty, and just kind of watch it, watch the speed, just work its way back towards. You know, basically, we're refs what ninety knots this time. Ninety one. That's really. Long Beach Tower six five five three seven. Hold really the slow approach right, speed. Right, we're pretty light. Where people get into, you know, not trouble, but they don't fly stabilized approaches in terms of airspeed as you start saying, well, I'm fast now, so you pull the power back, and then and then you get slow, and then you push it back up, and then you pull it back, and you're you're chasing it. Whereas if you can just set, we know in this airplane 50% will, will work its way back to ref pretty much over the numbers. And just let it, you know, kind of let it do what it needs to do. So land, flaps are land, gears down, we got three green, everything checks, we're in good shape. So when you touch down, you're gonna go back on your speed brakes yeah. and uh, and then just braking, we'll just shoot for getting off at uh, golf. Long Beach Tower. And the deck angle is pretty, down, uh, pretty flat. Pretty, pretty flat, yeah, you don't necessarily flare three, the three, airplane. Three zero. Yeah. Wednesday 32, Long Beach Tower, Roman three zero, continue top, we holding in position. Under three green. Roman three zero, Wednesday uh, 32. Okay, there's V approach. You may, you know, may work to power a little bit here and there, but nothing, nothing big. Yeah. It's going to nose down here in a second. Check your zero deck off. Bob, Bob, 100 there. feet to go. Okay, deck. autopilot's off. Now you're on it. So just, just hold ref and hold this attitude all the way into the runway. Ooh, ooh see that bird? That was close. Minimums. Minimums. Now it's visual. Speed's good. Your ref plus about seven. Bobby Sarah, diamond one three two dot Sierra, holding short. Running.